and welcome in everybody glad you're with us opening day 2022 on mlb the show it's the durham bulls going up against the nashville sounds ladies and gentlemen yo and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this sound. just about set to go now and today's starting pitcher, Josh Lindblom. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So just about set now. Leading off, Ryan Bolt. Right-hander kicks, deals. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Brasso makes the play. One up, one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here. So not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, the one, two. And now two and two. No score, just getting started, top of the first. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's Vidal Brujan. Two outs. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the first, and towing the slab here, Tyler Glass now. Chris, a sub-3 ERA for him a year ago. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Glass now, ready to deals. And a foul ball. down on strikes he goes and now one away yeah that's a tough pitch to stay on you don't want to get beat inside and as you see that pitch that continue exactly. to run away from you that's by the time stop. it's in the catcher's mitt right. you think it's a ball off the plate away this is Bryce Terang next pitch inside and a count two and one And strike two. <laughs> One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. That is good. And let's take a look at the lineup. So. 
Now batting Michael Brasso. And the right hander deals. Brasso started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Eric Summersgill. We move to the second in Milwaukee. No score. Back here in Milwaukee, and now it's going to be Josh Lowe. And here it comes. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. And the righty deals. And there's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now, Ruben Cardenas. Off-balance speed, there's one. A sensational double play. At the play, Ford Proctor. Here comes a pinch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Brings it in. And that ends the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Keston here up to hit now. Next offering is in for a strike. The one two stays alive. The one two swings and misses. Another strikeout for Glass now. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got, Got a pitch to hit and no just couldn't field. get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Here's a speed threat. Sal Fraley. Here's a 1-1. Just two. missed. Right through there for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. No score here in the second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Comes a 2-2. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe that it's square exists. around the ball step out the of the box. Field. Agitate Eight him a little hand. bit. Do something oh, that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Two outs, base is empty. Abraham Almonte, the next to hit. On the ground, the first. That ends the frame. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now here is number 62.
and the pitch stays alive. One two now. And there's a ball. The two two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one away in the top of the third. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tristan Gray, and he deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Terang relayed a second, but he's in there easily. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now the left fielder, number four. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. That one lifted to left. Fraley racing over to make the catch. Ryan Bolt digs in now. Man at second. On the ground to first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's out number three. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at American Family Field, and now the DH, Garrett Mitchell. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up throwing the wall. Very gritty. Number 46 now at the plate. Next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Yeah, and that's downstairs and outside. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Mitchell on at first. Nobody out. And now a full count. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Calls it in for the out. Batting done. The catcher, 
Mario. Here's Mario Feliciano. Glasnell picks the first, and he just got his hand in there. And a pitch. There's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. The pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. And now the count is even. The other way. Has some trouble with it. Here comes the throw. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now batting Jonathan Davis. Next pitch inside. Two and two. And now it's filled up. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that one lifted in the air center field. Low makes the catch. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And it's 1-0. And now the shortstop, Rice Terang. <laughs> Tap to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now here is Cooper Kinney. The 2-1. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. A solo shot. His first homer of the year. And we're all square. It's tied at one. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Vidal Brujan getting ready to hit. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Yeah, the batter now, Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe. Two two now. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. And next is the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. Ruben Cardenas. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Snags it on the run. That is the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at 1-1. Bob.
bottom of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, Michael Brasso. The 2 1. That to right. Bolt makes the play, and there's one down. Now back, second baseman, Kester. Here's Keston Hira. The pitch. Aye. Got him looking. That's the second out. Now and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Sal Fraley. The count two and one. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And that is the third out of the inning. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the speedy catcher, Ford Proctor. Left hand hitter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Well, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. So up next, number 62. Next offering is way upstairs. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Two and one now. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across, and the first two set down at the top of the fifth. The batter, number nine, shortstop. Tristan Gray. So digging in, Tristan Gray. And a pitch. And a strike in there. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. And now it's one and two. And that's outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a 2-2. This one popped up. And that is that. Halfway home, all even, one apiece. And welcome back. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Abraham Almonte. Right-hander kicks, deals. Two balls, one strike.
Fouls one off. Two and two. Left hand batter waits. He swings and fouls one off. Two two. Just okay. missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Chopped left side. Grabs it barehanded. The throw, and that's a great play for the out. A designated hitter, number five, Garrett Mitchell. And now Garrett Mitchell. The walk and a run scored his first time. The 1-1. One, one. Nope, outside. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And here it comes. Stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's out number two. Typically, that high fastball, if it's now close bad. to the top of the strike number zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And here is number 46, and a count one and two. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the inning. We played five full, tied at one aside. Welcome back, top six. Here's the left fielder, number four. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Kira with the throw to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The right fielder, number 32, Ryan Bolt. And now, Ryan Bolt. Righty delivers. Got the bat going too soon in strike two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Brown up and loosening in the pen. Gustave, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. One, two now. Fly ball to right. Amante makes the play, two away. Now batting, third baseman, Cooper Kinney. Now the number two hitter, Cooper Kinney. Next yeah, offering Cooper. down in the dirt. The 2 1. High fly ball down the left field line. 
And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Here comes a pinch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two now. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1-1. Back here in Milwaukee, and here's the catcher, Mario Feliciano. And the righty deals. Well, oh, that's off the plate. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. And it is gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2 1. Velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the center fielder, Jonathan Davis. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. And a three-two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now one away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Bryce Terang will hit next. Oh. The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. At the belt and fires. Smash to the left side. Backhand try, and he knocks it down. He decides to eat it, and the speedy runner is on at first. Now batting, third baseman, Michael Walker. Runner on at first with one gone. Now, Michael Brasso. And he deals. Nope, that's a ball. 2-1. That one fouled off, two and two. Glasnow picks the first, and he's back in safely. Next offering way off the plate.
Here comes a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Three balls, two strikes to count. Stays alive. And a pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So now it's the four hole hitter, Keston Hero. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is foul back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The 2-2. Two -two. Well struck left field. That one's deep. And forget it. His first homer of the year. And they tack on three. It's 5-1. guy's got a real hard fastball you can't overswing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound that'll be it for glass now we'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound Number 66 on the pitch here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now, here is Sal Fraley. And that chance handled to first. And that is out number two. Now batting, right fielder, Abraham Almonte. Two outs, space is empty. Digging in, Abraham Almonte. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Two and one. The 2 1. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The line of the pitch. Lifted in the air out to left. Number four under this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 5-1. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now at the plate, Vidal Brujan. The Bulls in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next one in the dirt. And a pitch. Slap the other way, foul. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners.
Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. So now three and two. Right side. Almonte in position. And there's one down. Now that the center fielder, Josh. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Josh Lindblom will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. A new arm into the game, the righty, Zach Brown. He's into the game with the bases empty. And now, Josh Lowe. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. Got him. Two away. They'll just rip the page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch at the hip and just watch it jump back over the inside part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Next is the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses. And it's two and two. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Next offering is down low. Three and two now. The wind and the pitch. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Ford Proctor, the next to hit. Brown checks the runner, and he's back safely. Cardenas off of first with two away. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Now batting. The first Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So first and second with two outs. And now the first baseman, number 62. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Davis drops steps, heads back on it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. of the inning and stepping in is the speedy Garrett Mitchell next offering is foul back the pitch way inside gets out of the way
2 2 now. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Number 46 now at the plate. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now back, the catcher, Mario Feliciano. pitch out there to center low couple of steps in pulls it in on the run and there's two down the center fielder number seven jonathan. here's the center fielder jonathan davis he's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game Move to first. Back in safe, really close. And a pitch. And it is two and one. Next pitch misses way outside. Kicks and deals. So now two on and two outs. So two on with two away. Now it's the shortstop, Bryce Terang. Left-hand hitter waits. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Two outs. That's down and in. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Number 46 over at second. Number seven on at first with two down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Third baseman. Now the third baseman, Michael Brasso. Right-hander kicks, deals. Back here at American Family Field. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's going to be Tristan Gray. Right side. Kira with the throw to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Number four. Now the left fielder, number four. The pitch. And a count one and two. Mm -hmm. 
That one the other way. Base hit as he pulls up short. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And here is Ryan Bolt. Left-hand batter waits. That one just misses. Ball two. And here it comes. That one ripped. That's a hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Righty reliever out of the pen, Luke Barker. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Here's the third baseman, Cooper Kinney. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The two one. In the air, out towards right center. Davis. Long run into the gap. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. Runner tags and will move up to third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Vidal Brujan. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And it's even up. Meanwhile... Activity in the bullpen. Justin Topa, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Gustave getting cranked up as well. Two two. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. And that is that. Cody Reed on a pitch out of the pen here. Now it's the second baseman, Keston Hira. He's already homered here in this one. That one misses, and a count two and one. The line to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. The three one. That's towards center. Low, right there to make the grab. And there's one away. Now batting, left fielder, Sal Freilich. Next to hit, Sal Freilich. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That clips the corner. Two down. Inside just missed. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty.
swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now it's going to be Abraham Almonte. The pitch. Ball three. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Hard hit right side. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Righty delivers. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on now you, back. and your That's interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Carl. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Stepping in, Ruben Cardenas. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes, count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Two outs, base is empty. And yeah, the batter now, Ford Proctor. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Just one out away. Try to close it out. High fly ball, right field. Amante giving chase. Ball game. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Yeah. <laughs>